All right, I'm back on the horse. I just, uh, I'm starting late today because I was just on the phone for about a half hour talking to somebody very important. And uh, I couldn't get down here to work until now. So I've only got an hour to work on this, but it's been that kind of week. So I'll do as much as I can in the short time I got. With the holidays coming up, it's going to be harder for me to get a lot of time down in the studio anyway. All right. What I'm doing is I'm just building up the uh, main part of the body of the horse. Uh, it was too skinny. Uh, Mustangs, uh, they had grass bellies. They, a modern horse could not live off of just prairie grass um, or just, you know, found vegetation. They have to have grain and uh, a special diet. I want to get the horse ready to uh, have the uh, young Native American girl added to it. And uh, I'd like to get her on the horse next week if I can. I didn't realize it was Thursday already. This week is going by real fast. At some point, I'm going to have to uh, lay this horse down on its side and work underneath the horse. Uh, there's just no other way I can do that unless I lay it on its side and uh, change the angle of my work area. Because there's detail underneath the horse, that, under the horse, that you have to. Uh, also pay attention to as well. Yeah, I think I'm going to wait till next week to uh, actually work on the uh, neck and the head of the horse. Uh, I'm going to just do some dilly-dallying around on the uh, main body of the horse and get it fine-tuned. And... Uh, I'm trying to decide whether I put a saddle on this horse. And if I put a saddle, I could put a Indian saddle with a blanket or a bearskin robe or some kind of covering over the uh, saddle. And it would have uh, a particular look as far as the uh, stirrups go. Now, there is a type of saddle that the female used, and it was a weird-looking saddle. Let me see if I can show you what I'm talking about. Go. A Native American uh, saddle that a female would use would have a real high uh, rising uh, things like that on the back and the front and this would have stuff maybe hanging down from it um i'm trying to decide whether i want to do that kind of saddle or a spanish sat saddle uh, with a uh, a 
Well, anyway, that's what I'm trying to decide whether to do. Or have her just running bareback. Uh, just sitting on a blanket, but I don't know if that would work out well. Uh, he would, the, the young mountain man would have a better uh, riding tack for the uh, young lady to ride on. If you don't know what I'm doing, I'm, I did mention it before. I'm doing a young mountain man who's taken a wife, a Native American wife, uh, from a village that uh, he was trading with and uh, she uh, has had their first baby and he's taking her and the baby to the village of uh, her family to uh, introduce the grandparents to their new grandchild. And I haven't figured out exactly how and where I'm going to have him uh, standing next to the horse or walking next to the horse. And they're basically just stop, came to a stop and maybe resting or whatever. But and he's reaching up and I'm thinking of having the baby uh, holding on to his finger and he's kind of smiling and enjoying the uh, the little one. So I, that's the story I'm trying to develop in my mind right now. And uh, it's nice to have a story that you can develop for the uh, situation that you're sculpting. That's the nice thing about Western art. You tell a story. And you tell a story in such a way that the person who purchases the clay, or the, I mean, not the clay, but the bronze, or the painting, can look at the painting and actually, while they're looking at the painting, they can be working out a story in their own mind. I've got to uh, lay this over because i got to work on the bottom part of the horse, and I'll do that next week. But I'm going to show you how I do this. I got this soft foam that came in a package of something that I had received in the UPS, and uh, it'll act as a, a nice pillow to lay this horse down on. All right, I've laid the uh, horse down on its side and I've laid it onto a piece of foam 
so it doesn't damage the horse that I've got done. And uh, this will give me the opportunity to work underneath, but it's not going to be easy because uh, this board's in the way of a lot of the stuff I've got to do. But I'm just going to have to work around it. But I'm going to pick this up next week, and uh, let's see how this works out. I can also work on the top part of the horse, too. All right. Good night, everybody, and I'll see you next week when uh, I try the uh, thing that I've been fearing trying for a, a couple weeks now. All right, good night. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. It really would help me. Also, check out the link below this video. It will take you to a review of my nine instructional videos that could be very helpful to you if you're thinking of sculpting. Good night, everybody.